Onwards and upwards. Let's now head down to the court and hear from Bernarda Perra after that huge win. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner, Bernarda Perra of the USA. Welcome to Melbourne. Well, first of all, welcome to Melbourne. And when you line up at like against an opponent like Angelique, who's been here before, she's done it, she's gone all the way to the end. What goes through your mind preparing for a match like that today? Um, I knew I'll have a tough opponent and I was ready for it. And um, I'd like to say I'm so grateful and thankful for everybody who's uh, put this tournament together and i um, happy to be here and perform in front of you. Um, yeah, so um, knew I had a... I knew I had a tough opponent, and um, she's a great fighter. Uh, it was probably not her greatest match, but um, I'm happy to get there. You got the win regardless. She, it wasn't her, her best match, but she is a fierce opponent. But you played quite well. How did you think you went? I think I started off well. Um, for a set and a half, I played um, my game, and then um, she fought a little bit better towards the end of the second set, but um, I'm happy to get the win. She didn't let you get that win easy, did she? Yeah. Now, you move on to the next round of the Australian Open, which is super exciting, exciting for you. What are you most looking forward to? Um, yeah, just playing in front of the crowds has been amazing, and um, just tr um, hopefully winning the next round and getting into the third. Well, fingers crossed we're behind you. Thanks so much for putting on a bit, your best effort here today. Ladies and gentlemen, Berenada Perra of the USA. And Liz, you can just hear the tension still in the voice. I think that's uh, just still a little nervous and can't believe that she has claimed the victory. Yeah, at the beginning of that interview, you could hear the breathing. And then, you know, we, she talked about being grateful and thankful. And then, you know, by the end...